if you plan on hosting your site with the host that you choose, I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, you need the site, obviously. You need your Muse file. You need all your content. You also need to sign up with a host. So GoDaddy, one one Bluehost, there's all these different ones out there. You're going to basically get website hosting, okay? And whatever that plan happens to be, and most of the time it's actually a plan, and you can pick which one you want. And most of the time it comes down to how much you want to pay a month, you know, how much phone support you get, how many websites, et cetera, et cetera. Once you do decide to buy, okay, and you're going to be paying probably monthly or a year or something like that, you're also going to need a domain, and your domain is going to be handled with your host, okay? So you're going to kind of take care of that outside of Muse. But when you sign up for hosting, what they're going to do is they're going to probably send you an email that says, hey, here you go, ready to go. They'll give you a bunch of login information, and usually what they'll do is they'll send you FTP information. So that's like a, a URL, username, password, something you create or they create, uh, and some other information, usually something like a, um, a directory as well. If they don't give you that, they'll probably email you and say, well, here's your admin area. So what you can do with these types of uh, situations is log into an account, which is an admin, and they'll usually show you FTP users, and you can find out the information that way. You can also contact the host. Once you sign up for a host, you can go back to Muse with your site. Maybe you've published it as a test. That's totally fine. That's something that you can delete later on. But when you're ready to publish it for life, for real, you'll see that we have Upload to FTP Host in here. Click on that. Now, I've already filled my information out just because I wanted to make sure that I had the right username and password. <laughs> but what you're going to do is look and see the information that they send you. Put that information in here. The host directory is really important because if they tell you to, to stick it in the directory, um, you want to put it in there. You want to type it in. If you put it in the wrong directory, it might not show up. They'll probably give you a login. They'll give you a password. You, The first time you do this, you want to upload all files. okay? Unless you work with a developer and they tell you otherwise, but you want to upload all files. You can also store the credentials if you want to, which are encrypted. That means it'll store the password, the login, etc. You'll see right here that there's a little information icon. This domain name this is the domain name that's going to be used for uh, the fonts and um, a, a sitemap. It creates a sitemap for you, an XML sitemap, which can be useful for a bunch of reasons. Once you're ready to go, you can click OK. At, at this point, it's going to go and create all the HTML, CSS, JavaScript necessary images, get it all ready, put it in the folder, upload it to your host, and stick it out there live on the web. If, for instance, um, if, for instance, you use one of the forms, the contact forms that, like we did, and your host doesn't support it, it's going to make a, it's going to do a check at this point to see if it'll work. If it won't work, it'll give you an error message and say, well, the contact form won't work. you got to remove it <laughs> or something, okay? And that's one of the situations where in most cases it will work. If I click OK, it's going to check all my information. It's going to see that everything's good, and it's going to start uploading, and this is going to take a while. So it looks like we're getting to the end here. You can see it says Upload Complete. You're going to see that um, the server name, Aspirant Class, doesn't match the actual email address, which may or may not be an issue. In this case, it probably it will not probably be an, an issue. Uh, it just all depends. What I can then do is click OK or View Site. I'm going to click on View Site, and there it is, Aspirant Class Index. Awesome. Nice. So we can go in and kind of test things out and see what happens. This is a live URL. I'm going to leave this up there for just a little bit uh, if you want to check it out. I use this URL as a, well, as a class testing for other things that I do. And that's it. When you make changes, you can always next time go to File, Upload, FTP Host. After you make changes, you can then say Only Modified Files and go do your thing. If it didn't work, if you find that you go to URL, and it's not showing, um, I'll remind me later, and it's not showing, it may be that you put it in the wrong directory by accident. So you got to check that. There it is. That's uploading. That's working with, kind of getting all this stuff done. The last section we're going to deal with here is what's called in-browser editing to be able to make simple edits.